Good afternoon once again everybody, Alex Starcraft here wanting to apologize to you guys for the slightly low game volume levels in the most recent games. I'm trying my best to balance these things. I used to have it at a constant volume and I, it seems as I change the volume of my computer, stuff like that, um, of the sound of my computer, it seems to change it. So I'm taking a look at that. The last two games, it was a little low. I just turned it up. I actually almost doubled it. So hopefully it is going to be better now. And hopefully it didn't detract from the previous games too much. I know some of you guys aren't, again, the hugest fans of my voice. But hopefully it will be, um, it'll be okay. You can tolerate it. So I am very um, impressed, even more impressed now with the people like Day, uh, Day9, JP McDaniels, Husky, all those people. When you see them casting at the MLGs, the IEMs, all those things, when they have to cast, let's say, 50 games in a day, that is insane. Oh my gosh, I would be so tired. I know they talk about it, but I'm just saying I've gotten two macro style games into this best of five and i am already kind of like Ugh, i could stop casting now but you know i'm gonna keep doing it because i need more content on my channel need subscribers views i need all the views guys so hopefully this game will be good as the last one as good as the last two i should say and i should mention pami is currently up 02 on damaga now this is going to have a pretty big um, it's going to hurt Damaga mentally, it's just not necessarily tilt, but he's just kind of like, oh gosh, if I lose this one game, if I make one mistake, I am out of this tournament, I'm going no further. And Pommy's just kind of like, okay, cool, like, if Damaga makes a mistake, then I can win. If he doesn't, and he wins, then I still have another chance, and if he doesn't then, I still have another chance, but of course, by the fifth game, they both be on kind of equal footing. This drone is taking a stab at that probe. They have a personal feud going on. And we have for the first game in the series, Pommy not going for a forward fast expand. Of course, this map, I've seen it. It does not totally favor the forward fast expands just because of the way it is. But it seems like he is going to be going for a one gate expand before having any units. Kind of risky there from Pommy, I would say. It's such a wide open choke. He cannot contain it very well. Damaga is going to see this. And if he just went for some kind of an all-in, Pommy would definitely be in quite a bit of trouble. But with any luck, it would be another great macro game, of course. A game with any well-timed all-in. Lots of action is good, too. So we'll have to see what happens. And it seems like it is going to be a forge-fast expand, but not a, not a traditional one. He did get down the pylon and the one gate, then threw down pylon forge cyber core. So it looks like the reason, I'd imagine a cannon might go there. I'm actually not sure if that is a full wall. I can't see. But it'll be interesting to see what he does there. I guess the thing for this it is it'll allow him to have a slightly faster, maybe sentry cyber core, stuff like that, in order to be able to control the space. And then it will also let him have that cannon right there to prevent against any uh, potential all-ins or anything. We see Damaga seeing the fast third. He's or natural. He says, all right, I'm not going to go for any kind of crazy all-in. I'm just going to play the game I know. And its name is Macro. So it looks like we might do have another Macro game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. We see Damaga has just been droning up. He's a 26 to 26 supply. Of course, he does have the advantage of these few lings and these queens, whereas um, Pommy actually has no units yet. I do not think he's made anything out of there. Nope. 28 probes. That's all he has. Of course, Damaga also has the four overlords, which is a huge advantage. Three more overlords on the way. Very interesting choice right there. I'm not sure if Damaga just wants to do that because he doesn't want to have to deal with overlords for a while. Or he did, he wasn't really that supply blocked. He didn't have a whole lot of minerals, anything like that. I guess he just wants to be able to make a whole lot of drones and not worry about them when these ro uh, when the roach one pops. He might want to make some roaches, getting some extra supply for stuff like that. And we do see Damaga, very nice placement on his overlord. He is going to see kind of what's going on if things leave the base. He will at least possibly know about it. This side, definitely this side, maybe. Depending on where they go. Of course, this overlord probably could very easily be sniped. It is going to be in the vision of the Protoss in just a second. Maybe? Is it? I just want to see. Uh, yeah, there it is. It appeared for a second. So if Pommy was watching the mini-map, he would know that's there. And there we go. We do see two roaches in the production tab. 
and six drones as well. So it looks like the manga, he just didn't want to have to deal with overlords for a while. He was fed up with how needy the overmind is, always demanding more overlords. And he was like, you know, I just want to make me some drones. So he is doing just that. He is a little, uh, little Evo Chamber Sim City there, maybe preventing any uh, zealot runbys, anything like that. And there is the lair. At the same time, we do have a second gas, or er, third gas, I should say, coming down from Damaga. He is getting some drones up at this third, and he's finally taking the drone lead. He's up 47 to 45 with eight more in the production tab. And let's take a look at the Protoss base. We see three gateways currently on the field with a robo as well. And this is actually what we saw last game. We did see him get a robo, which it looks like he previously used for an Amor or a observer. Now he is using it for an immortal though. And it looks like what we might have on our hands here is a, some kind of, I guess it would be a five gate robo timing push with some sentries. And of course, a lot of zealots, these immortals will be gas heavy. These are probably all the sentries he is going to make. So he will be pushing out very, very soon. And especially because the Maga, Zergs in general, the early game defense is Zerglings and Roaches. Zerglings are very good versus, um, they're very good versus something like a four gate, uh, Zerglings and Spine Crawlers. And then if you have Zerglings, of course you need Zerglings to count, because of course, uh, Zealot Stalker counter it with Zergling Roach. But the problem is with these Immortals is they do so much damage to the Roaches. 55 damage per shot to a Roach. That allows them to 3-shot a Roach. And they have a decent attack speed, do they not? Where are you? Uh, 1.45, so not too slow. So they can kill a Roach in about 5 seconds there. But that definitely adds up over time, especially their huge survivability as well. Damaka sees this entire push coming out. We have a push with a Warp Prism preventing the use for a Proxy Pylon. Very clever... Uh, warp prism and robotics uh, facility usage out of Pommy right here. And this is scary for Damago. We do see he is ahead by about 20 supply though. He has a lot of Zerglings and Roaches he's attacking in the front does not seem to be going well. A lot of Zink guys running around the back as well. But these force fields preventing them from getting the total flank and then force fields fully surrounding the Protoss player. Catching these Roaches they cannot attack, they cannot reach and oh my god those were beautiful. Uh, Damag is streaming in more units. Roach is trying to do as much damage as he can. They pick off a good number of the sentries but there's still a lot left. Roach is getting force fielded. Not caught Caught by them, but pushed back a little bit. That sentry does go down, so he is down to. Uh, he was down to four sentries, but warping in four more, he's back up to eight, and this is very scary for Damaga. It looks like Pami might be able to take a pretty early victory, but these are a lot of roaches. Hopefully, they can keep Damaga in the game. It will not be a quick 3 0 victory. Everyone loves to see an ace match. Sniping the sentries again, this is a great idea from Damaga, he's just saying, you know, I know these roaches won't be good against the immortals, but if I can get rid of your sentries, I can do a lot of damage to you, and of course, Pami only on 5 gates, can't warp in too many units, he still only has the one immortal here. He might have one or two back up in his base. No, it does not look like he does. And we still see uh, Damaga's economy maybe just overwhelming Pommy a little bit. He's only ahead by a little bit on workers, but you see he's got about 300 extra supply because he's on the three bases. And these roaches are doing a lot of damage. It looks like they might be able to snipe the immortal. No, he's getting pulled back. He's sniping even more sentries, though. And the Protoss army is getting smaller and smaller by the minute while the Zerg one just continues to grow. We actually, he did get an infestation pit down. We see pathogen glands. The Roach is running in, not taking too much damage, not letting the Zealots hit them. More Zealots being warped in, but looks like they are going to snipe the Immortal, and then next is, if they get rid of the Sentries, it'll be Roach versus Stalker Zealot, which is not the hardest thing in the world to deal with, especially when you can make 14 Roaches at a time, no big deal. And you have Infestors on the way, getting a little bit of a concave there, just splitting his units up a little bit. And it looks like next time Pommy tries to push in, Damaga might be able to, to kill it. But I don't know, this is still very scary. More sentries being warped in right there. And he has to be very sure his guys will not be force fielded in half. Uh, Zealot's running into the army. He will not be picking those off just because he does not quite have the... Um, what do you call it? He he can't afford to just try and do that, spend a little bit of micro on it, so he will be running those by. And these roaches are still doing a lot of damage, they're still holding, but this is still very scary for Damaga. This has been very back and forth, but the first infester has popped here at the third. 
big fungal going down, stopping this army from pulling back. All the roaches are inside of the force fields. The Protoss army is getting cut off from where any reinforcements could be warped in, but this does let him get a surround with these zealots and stalkers, but looks like he's going to be picking off all the weakened units. This whole bit of army that was down here getting picked off, these zealots being fungled, they are not able to get in any damage. More roaches coming out. And I think this push might be over for Pommy, guys. We see Infestors on the field, Roaches on the field, and up there's a Warp Prism. It picks up its Zealots, or Stalkers, and it runs for its dear life. And we see Pommy finally transitioning out of that, throwing down the Robotics Bay, as well as more Immortals. But we see he's only behind by one on Workers, but we see his main is probably getting close to mined out. Yes, it is. His natural is about halfway-ish mined out. While wow, Damaga still has a third starting to get mined out, or a main, but he still has a natural going pretty strong, and a third that has barely been touched. So he's definitely in the economic lead. We see he's ahead by about 50 supply. Of course, that is the Roaches. They are very uh, meaty, supply-heavy unit, but they are not necessarily the biggest, uh, the biggest threat. Uh, in the world, they are the cheapest to supply unit in the game, of course, unless you count the Zealots. And a Zealot does beat a Roach one-on-one, -on -one. so it is a 50 supply advantage, but it is not a particularly scary 50 supply advantage. Looks like Palmy is scouting for a fourth right there from Damaga. By the way, guys, I never mentioned this map is GSO Dual Sight. You'll see it just has bases 1, 2, 3, and then a fourth, which uh, was a high yield taken out. You can take the fourth here or here. Anyway... The Warp Prism does get fungled. Infested Darren being thrown out. The Zealots being dropped, which is just more units for Damaga's roaches to eat up. They just go om 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 om. And there go the Zealots. So we do see the Colossi production starting up from Palmy, the Thermal Lance, as well as the Colossi on the way. And the Infestors, the Infestors used to be great. They had that or they have that neural parasite if you research it but the spire is halfway done and i'd imagine we're going to be seeing this just for some corruptors he's not going to be transitioning into mutas he already has the roaches with the speed the plus one attack he's a carapace just starting i'd love to see him get burrow as well just because i think that's such a fun fun little upgrade to use I see Palmy still being very religious about his scouting, being very active with this warp prism as he was with the Phoenix previously. And that is very important. You need to know how many bases the Zerg is on. Has he droned up anymore? Yes, he has. He's up to 62 now, which is a fairly decent number for if you want to be going roaches. Again, roaches, not the most macro heavy, or they don't need the strongest macro to be able, or strongest economy to be able to be produced in huge numbers. He does have a lot of gas, no doubt those are going to be for the Infestors, for the Corruptors, that I think he either should have gotten out or should be getting out very, very soon. Which can take down those Colossi, of course there's only, let's see, there are two Colossi in the field and it looks like he's going to be pushing out with that just to grab his third, he's killing this Overlord. But of course the advantage of having that Overlord there, Damaga exactly knows, um, <sighs> I'm sorry guys, I'm very tired, but he knows the timing on that third base. Or at least he knows the timing when the Protoss wants to try and grab it. So he will have an idea of exactly where the Protoss is in the economy. But it looks like Demog is just going to max out. And there are the Corruptors. He's going to max out on Roach, Ling, and Fester Corruptor. Which is very good. Especially when you have 11 Corruptors, 3 Colossi. That's roughly 4 per Colossi. That can do a lot of damage. Of course, a 4th is about to pop. So Demog just has to be careful that he does not take too many losses from those Colossi before his Roaches can do some damage. But they do have the plus 2 attack now. And he has, how many Infestors is this? 7 Infestors with almost full energy on every single one. So it looks like Demog is going to be ready to push out now. This could do a lot of damage. I'd love to see him go very soon. And it looks like the Protoss is going to be bringing the battle to him. It will be in the center of the map, getting a nice little concave. The Corruptors running in, killing one of the corrupt colossi already a second one going down a third one's about to go down and the roaches are just kind of eating through the protos forces in the front oh my god the colossi getting taken out by the corruptors and oh geez wow damaga crushing that engagement right there i'm not sure i'll go back take a look really quick i think it was probably partially the positioning of the protos coming to think of it. yes the roaches definitely had a much better concave than the uh 
or the the Zerg had a much better concave than the Protoss unit. Yeah, we see he does get the concave. He gets this whole area, whereas the Protoss is kind of confined. And with these 11 Corruptors, if you have them killing Coloss, they, they are two-shotting these Colossi guys. They died so fast. You see, they were not able to get a whole lot of kills. The Zerglings tanked a whole bunch of damage up in the front. Not too much force fields were used. And so Damaga just kind of overrunning or running over either one is appropriate Pommy in that third game so it looks like we will be going to a fourth game can Damaga take the make the comeback he will be a little more confident because of this Pommy will be a little bit rattled but he still needs to just win one game Damaga needs two so we'll see what is going to happen if there will be a conclusion next game I'll bring it to you guys in just a few minutes